Hello everyone, I am here today to talk to you about the difference between making epoxy tumblers versus sublimation tumblers. And I wanna give you some ideas as to the differences. I have six different main differences between the two that might help you decide which one you wanna make or if you're curious about either of them. So the first thing that I wanted to point out was the cost of doing each of them. I started personally with the epoxy tumblers and I did find it to be quite a big investment. I had to uh, purchase a tumbler turner and I wanted a couple of them, but I did purchase one at a time to see how interested in the hobby that I would be. I purchased one. I did need to purchase, you have to purchase epoxy, some glitter, which I mean, glitter can be actually very addicting. And that has probably been the biggest expense that I have is continuing to purchase glitters of different kinds, shapes, chunky, fine, etc. cetera. Uh, also, um, I wanted to be able to uh, put names on cups, so I did end up purchasing a Cricut. And so for me, making epoxy uh, custom tumblers was a pretty big investment, but well worth. So making sublimation tumblers can be very inexpensive. I purchased my prints off of Etsy for $3 each. And when you purchase your cups, your tumblers, you purchase them already sublimated. They have a white sublimation coat on them. So uh, then the other thing I had to purchase was uh, some heat resistant tape. Sublimation tumblers were much more inexpensive to make. The second thing to consider is where you're going to make your tumblers. Sublimation tumblers I made in my kitchen. I used my air fryer. I used a heat source I already had. They didn't give off any fumes. Uh, it's so I did it here in my house and I didn't worry about toxins in the air. Now, epoxy tumblers, since epoxy does give off the, the fumes and you do have to, I do torch my epoxy for micro bubbles. I don't do this in my house. Now, if you did want to use Crystallac uh, instead of epoxy, that is something you could do in your house. So knowing where you're going to uh, do your new hobby, you want to make sure you have a place. Also, if you're working with glitter, glitter was everywhere. When I first started making epoxy tumblers, I did it in my house and I had glitter everywhere on my cat, on the floor, in our food. And so I moved to my she shed and that kind of took care of the toxin problems in my house that all my family was breathing. And it also took care of glitter being everywhere. So as far as a place, having a place to do this, sublimation definitely is easier to do that with. Point number three is preparation. Uh, to prepare your epoxy tumblers, you uh, purchase, unless you purchase a sanded tumbler, which is much more convenient. Makerflow has a sanded tumbler. If you purchase any other tumbler, you need to create a roughness on the surface, so you need to sand it, and then uh, you need to paint it uh, to match you, however you are gonna glitter it. So this does take a little bit more preparation. Now, with the sublimation, you don't have to do any preparation at all except for clean it with uh, rubbing alcohol to get your fingerprints off of it. Also, after your cups are made, your epoxy tumbler needs to be cleaned the edges. Sometimes you need to take acetone inside of it and clean out any paint inside of it. Whereas sublimation, there is no cleaning of the edges. There's nothing to clean afterwards. You take off your print and voila, you have your tumbler. So that's also another point to consider is preparation of it to start and then how to finish off your cup. Sublimation is much easier. Point number four is difficulty level. Epoxy method does have a bigger learning curve. You need to watch videos or of how to apply your epoxy, how to apply glitter, if you're gonna use the Mod Podge method, if you're gonna use the epoxy method, how many layers of epoxy to put on, how to apply your decal, how to print decals, how to print water slides, how to cut out vinyl on your Cricut. So, for the epoxy method, there is a much larger learning curve than making sublimated tumblers. With sublimated tumblers, basically all you have to do is know how to apply tape and know how to use a timer in your heat source so that you have uh, two minute intervals of turning your cup for six minutes. So this is a much easier technique to learn is the sublimation. 
Point number five, the difference between the two cups with the appearance. A epoxied cup, the, the cup will be thicker, it's heavier, it's probably got four or five layers of epoxy on it, but this is where the advantage is, the appearance of an epoxy tumbler is absolutely gorgeous. You have your glitter, you have, it, it's just stunning. It's just stunning, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's shiny, it's uh, like eye candy for us women who love that glitter. I have read that when the eye, when, when a person looks at glitter, it actually releases a hormone in your brain that releases endorphins and makes you feel good. And I, I believe that because when I see glitter, it makes me happy. So I do believe that, but that is, so epoxy tumblers are glittery, sparkly, and, but the, they are heavier as well and thicker. Now, now, not to downplay your sublimation tumbler because it, the colors of the sublimation tumbler are vibrant and it is shiny, but it is not sparkly. So in the appearance of the two cups, you have two beautiful cups, one with glitter and shiny and one without glitter, vibrant colors, and it's still shiny, but not the same shine as we're talking about you get with epoxy. But you do have to know that when you're working with epoxy, there's one of the learning curves is working with micro bubbles and bumps on the epoxy, which can actually be uh, one of the reasons that people stop making epoxy tumblers is because you have to get through that learning curve of, of knowing how to minimize your bubbles on your cup. Whereas with sublimation tumblers, you don't have that learning curve. There is no bubble, a completely smooth finished surface, no micro bubbles, nothing like that at all. With sublimation tumblers, if you don't get your print completely tight on the cup, you can have some areas where the ink will be dull or muddled. So that was just a, a smaller learning curve, but with practice, you can get that down. Number six, and the final difference that I can tell between the two tumblers is the sale ability of each cup. Uh, there seems to be more people willing to pay more money for an epoxy custom tumbler than there is for a sublimation tumbler. So I took these three cups to work yesterday and people did like them, but nobody was interested in purchasing them at all, which kind of surprised me because they were very inexpensive. I priced them at $20, which means I made a $5 profit off each cup if I sold it. So they were not very saleable. Anytime that I took an epoxy glittered tumbler to work, I actually had no problem selling it at all. I, so I was surprised to see the response was not as great with uh, the sublimation tumblers as the epoxy tumblers. So those are the differences that I could think of between the two types of tumbler uh, making techniques that I know of. And if you have any uh, anything to add, please put it in the comments below. I would uh, like to see your comments and see what you have to say or your experience as well. So I hope that helps with your decisions to try and do either one or if you're just searching through YouTube and wanna see what people have to say. Definitely, I would say, make a sublimation tumbler just for the sake of knowing how to do it and doing it. Start with this. It's really inexpensive. Purchase your cups, purchase a few uh, uh, prints off of Etsy and you'll have a heat source in your house. Either use your oven or your toaster oven or your air fryer and buy some heat resistant tape for $6 and you can already uh, make your own tumbler. The other thing that I do wanna say, I, I do think is a big benefit for sublimated tumblers is if you have to make a lot of them. Say you want to make uh, 10 cups for a wedding and or 10 cups for fall gifts or you just want to make a lot of the same cups and you don't have a lot of time, sublimation would be the way to go because I made these three cups in about 45 minutes and they're beautiful. So I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know if this helps you to decide. Either way, I'd be really curious. And I hope you guys have a really awesome day and I hope you're enjoying and making great creations. Bye.